Hello there, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to Audrey Live. Uh, thank you for joining us. And uh, we look forward to another fabulous week here. Um, lots going on today as uh, every week. Um, we have uh, Becky Sharfstein McGettigan uh, from Creative Haven X -Y, y X E and her son. Okay, uh, she's going to give us a studio tour. Uh, she's out in Saskatoon, um, Saskatchewan, uh, and her son Sean will be joining us as well. And they'll be doing some crafting for kids, showing us some great ideas uh, for things that we can be doing with our children, grandchildren, and just just kind of neat crafting ideas. So we also uh, will be showing Jen Tryon's COVID-19 journal. Uh, we've kind of been talking about journaling over the last couple of weeks. And um, I know I haven't had much time. So hopefully now I can get started a little bit more. I've started the basics, but I haven't been putting it into my journal. So that will definitely be a process for me and on my to-do list. Um, just make sure as you're watching today uh, to comment, ask questions. We will try to get to your, um, your questions uh, during the show, but possibly after the show as well. I'll keep a lookout for uh, anything in particular. Uh, let us know where you are and, uh, and maybe how you found out about us and even things that you'd like to see on future shows. Uh, we're working actually out to uh, September now. We have some great guests booked from now till uh, September. And uh, yeah, we're just really looking forward to it every week and bringing you the latest and greatest and, and uh, what's going on in the industry. Um, if you have missed some of the past shows or maybe you missed the big Pin It Canada Live virtual event on Friday, which was like five and a half hours of nonstop creative crafting madness. It was unbelievable. And we were just so incredibly overwhelmed with the response, with the way the show went. And uh, so many of you tuned in and have been watching it afterwards as well. And uh, just want to give a special thank you to all the presenters uh, and companies that were involved in this first event. And I've kind of heard that it was the first in North America of this type of event. So we're very, very proud of that. And uh, we look forward to doing some more. Yes, we will be bringing you another one of those shows in uh, October. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that. Um, but anyway, if you've missed some of those shows, make sure that you go to our YouTube channel. So you go to YouTube and then that top little search, just put in Pin It Canada and it will bring you to our YouTube channel. And there you can watch all the uh, past videos and uh, yeah, and comment and make sure you subscribe, subscribe and ring that bell because in that way, when we do upload a new video, go you will get a notification. That's all it, that's all it does. So don't worry, you're not subscribing that they're going to be sending you other things because somebody asked me, so like, do they, YouTube keep sending us stuff? No, that just means that you will receive notification from our channel, Pinna Canada, when we upload something. So you've missed a show, we uploaded to YouTube, and all of a sudden you'll get notification and you can watch it. So um, let me see, just trying to see here what we're going with. There we go. Um, yeah, so thank you again to everybody who participated in the show on Friday, and we look forward to bringing more. Uh, one thing I uh, just wanted to mention too, I know things are opening up throughout Canada and the US, but you know, particularly Canada. And uh, I know some people, you know, every, every province is different. And that's something we just have to uh, make mention of that, you know, everywhere across Canada, we're at different stages and that's okay. Uh, somebody posted something on Facebook and I just thought it was really great. I thought just, just share a few of the things. Um, no one should, should feel pressured either way. You know, it says some people don't agree with the way the province is opening. That's okay. Be kind. Some people are still planning on staying home. That's okay. Be kind. Some are sighing with relief to go back to work, knowing that they may not lose their business or their homes. And that's okay. Be kind either way. Some are thankful they can finally have surgery or go see that doctor's appointment uh, that they've been waiting for for so long. Uh, which is a sense of relief. And that's okay. Be kind. 
Uh, some will still wear masks and wear masks for weeks and that's okay, be kind. Some people will rush to get their hairs and nails done, which I haven't done yet. I really, I was just mentioning, I really need a haircut <laughs> and that's okay, be kind. Uh, the point is that everybody is different. Our viewpoints are different and our feelings are different. And that's okay. Just be kind and realize that, you know, we're all at different stages in this whole uh, game of re-entering, um, re-entering, re-entering into our normal lives or a new normal or whatever it's going to be. So um, anyway, I did uh, mention a few weeks about, go about journaling and we talked about that. And Jen Tryon uh, has done this COVID-19 journal. Uh, so I'm going to get it up here for us and there we go. And then I can share it with you and it's really quite neat. So just take a look and see, this is Jen Tryon and her COVID-19 journal. Hey there, I'm Jennifer Tryon and I'm going to take you through how I constructed my COVID-19 journal. So yep, I used a cracker box. So this is just a big cracker box from Costco. You could also use a cereal box. Any kind of sturdy cardboard will do. And I took out my big paper trimmer because it was the heavy duty one. And I trimmed just off the sides and I trimmed it down to eight by eight inches. Although for the paper, I went seven and a half by seven and a half. And this is the Jen Hadfield uh, in the Family Collection by American Crafts. You can see I kind of mitered the corners there. Um, you do that just by pinching the corners and then snipping off the excess. Um, I used a tape runner to tack it down and I didn't want any of those seams showing. So again, uh, the In the Family Collection, I love those houses just to cover up the seams. And then I had some thickers. Um, they're kind of a rose gold color. And I used my T-square ruler to just make sure everything was nice and centered. And that let's stay safe or let's stay home um, sticker worked perfectly there, I thought, along with those transparency flowers. And I used my Spectrum Noir art liner markers to put the date on there. And then um, some of the Spectrum Noir quick dry ink to antique uh, the front cover just with one of the um, uh, dabbers. I thought that kind of helped it look a little bit older. So just taking a little flip through all of my pages. Now your pages can be whatever you want them to be. Um, we did homeschooling and baking and all kinds of things that we've been doing. And then I put the book together using the cinch from We Are Memory Keepers. It does about uh, 12 punches at once and then you can kind of uh, move it down and use the wires, um, kind of hang all of the pages off of it. So a little tip, you want your front and back cover um, to face each other, but first you want to put the pages on, uh, then the front and back cover, and then they'll all, then it'll all kind of go in order properly. So that's the book. It came together pretty quickly once I got it going. Um, yeah, we'll take a little flip through, social distancing, working from home, uh, our baking, bike rides to the creek, uh, mask making, homeschool, those are just printouts on cardstock right from the photo printer. And then of course I left a couple of blank pages too because there are definitely more memories to be had during this time in quarantine. I hope you're inspired to make something similar. Stay safe, I'm Jennifer Tryon. Hey there, I'm Jennifer Tryon and I'm taking through how I constructed oh, my COVID-19. That's amazing, Jennifer. I I know my journal won't quite look like that, but uh, it's just inspirational to see all the different pages and ideas that she has. And uh, yeah, take a look at her YouTube channel as well, Jennifer Tryon. And uh, she has a little bit, one that's a little bit more in depth uh, that you can take a look at as well. So now we're very excited, our guests today. Guests, we have two guests today. Um, today, is, she's a dynamic woman who I've gotten to know through AFCI, which is the Association for Creative Industries. And I'm just so pleased uh, to have her part of my creative life. Uh, it's Becky Sharstein McGettigan and her son, Sean. <clears throat> Sean is six years old and going into grade two. He has been crafting for most of his life. From finger painting early on to using powder, power tools to help build a deck last week. 
Sean is always looking to grow and learn as he can in the creative field. His favorite craft usually includes paint and tools. Sean has been learning to sew and crochet over the last couple of years and is loving both. Uh, Sean has three videos on Creative Haven YXC YouTube channel called Crafting with Sean. That'll be exciting to go see. He is really enjoying sharing his love for creativity with others. Becky, who is Sean's mom, owns Creative Haven in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, which is a DIY studio, uh, classroom, and retail store. Becky teaches classes in all things creative and crafty. Her latest passion is advocating for the mental health benefits of creativity in both children and adults. In September of 2017, Becky's husband, Sean's dad, passed away from a three-year battle with multiple myeloma. Sean was three years old at that time. He struggled to understand his emotions and how to deal with what he was feeling. So Becky did a number of things as a good mother would. She was, uh, Becky did a number of things, but it wasn't until they started using art and creating that Sean healed and the joy began to return. Becky quickly began researching and implement, implementing art therapy in their daily lives. Welcome, Becky and Sean. Hello. Hi. Welcome. I'm so excited to have you on the show. This is amazing. We're pretty excited to be here. Oh, uh -huh. wonderful. And so how are you guys doing out there? I know you've kind of done a bit of a, a soft launch opening for your shop there. How's it going? Good. Yeah, it's going pretty well. The store is open now three days a week to the public. But everything that we've done with uh, during COVID, so the curbside pickup, online ordering, we're keeping those free delivery in Saskatoon, all of that. None of that is changing. And then awesome. we're just open now to the public three days a week. And Perfect. Mr. Magoo here gets to spend quite a bit of time at the store with me not being in school these days. So that's <laughs> the big change, I think. Yes, yes, that's for sure. So tell us a little bit about yourself, your family, your background, that sort of thing. Sure. So I was born and raised in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. My parents actually still live in the same house they bought when they got married. Wow. So always been here. Yeah. My brother is here with his wife and now two children. I have a new nephew as of two days ago. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. We're pretty excited about that. Um, I have a sister who lives in Israel. So we wow. video chat often, which yeah. is fantastic. And she has two daughters out there and a son. So it's great to spend uh, quality video time with them. Perfect. Um, have been my mom is incredibly creative and has been my entire life. So I spent a lot of time. Right, we do a lot of crafts with Nana. <laughs> I have so spent, would that that be how you started into your creative journey? Then was as a child. It was just it was just normal behavior. Is that yeah. we craft it at home? Uh, I learned to sew. I learned to knit. I learned to crochet. I learned paper crafting. I mean, my creative journey probably started when I was unable to walk. Uh, <laughs> just always been a creative house. Yeah. Uh, my yeah. mom was always creating and mastering the new craft, the new thing that was coming out. She would dive right in, master it, and then it was time to move on. <laughs> So I definitely get that from her. Oh, that's awesome. Good, good. And Sean, are you enjoying being out of school? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, what are you spending your days doing out of school? Uh, really, when I'm out of school, I watch shows. You watch shows and we do some crafting. Do you want to show some of the things we've been doing here? Yes, that would be awesome. That's right. So these are some of the crafts that Sean gets to do when he comes to hang out. Oh, wow. That yes. is, I love it with the rocket ships. That's so neat. <laughs> yes. And then paint pour, which I think is his personal favorite. Ah, love did you do those? Pour. Very yes. nice. Yeah. And we've been putting together um, some YouTube videos of Sean crafting called crafting with yeah. Sean. That's right. <laughs> and the paint pour, these are on there. So, oh, wow. Yeah, we had a great time doing those. And you want to show the last one? 
was the last one that we did. This one up here, sweetie. Yeah. Oh, oh upside down, oh, mommy. Oh. There we go. <laughs> so how did you put that together? So this one is just a canvas. And then the flower is a, a shaped canvas that we're oh. holding up with popsicle sticks underneath, just hot glued popsicle sticks on. Oh, very neat. You make it a little 3D. Yeah. And then yeah. we wrap some yarn around the end and clip some pictures on and away we go. Now, what's the background on the canvas? It's just, uh, I just, we just painted it with, uh, what have we got? Paint. Acrylic paints. That's right. We have <laughs> blues and, and just streaks, a lot of dry brushing. Oh. Expanded dry brushing techniques here in, at this. I love those colors. Very nice. They're pretty. <laughs> very neat uh, yeah, so and I, what do you enjoy the most out of all the different crafting sean well i like lots of crafts you like I lots do. of crafts what's mm -hmm. your favorite my favorite is the paint pours paint pours ah yeah. the small one is a messy paint pour the the little one that we did here was yeah the dirty pour yep and then the other one was get the clean pour. <laughs> well, it was clean, one color at a time. Yeah, yeah, that was the difference. Yeah. And how did you do the rocket ship one? Do you remember this one? Um, we um took we painted these. We put a stencil of a rocket ship on. Mm -hmm. Then we painted it, and then um and then we painted it. Yeah. We painted. Then we put some steering in. Oh. And then put them together, and it was, and it's done. And just like that, I love the background. It really looks like a galaxy spent at, throughout the whole thing. So, did you do that background first? Um, we sure did. Yep. So this is we painted the whole thing black. Then okay. we started doing again with the dry brushing of my favorite. We did lots of different galaxy colored streaks. And there's planets. And then after it dried, we used a round stencil to make the planets. Uh, yeah. Very good. Very yeah. good. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And then we used uh, a little mini printer to take a picture and we printed it off. It's a sticker when it comes from the Canon Ivy. Oh, okay. um, it's just a sticker. So we cut it out into the circle and then put it right on there. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Very it was, cool. It was pretty fun. <laughs> so what else are you going to show us today? Today we're going to make a monster card. Oh, oh, wow. That's super cool. So it's oh. a monster. It can be for Father's Day. We thought that would be anybody looking for last minute card or gift ideas for Father's Day. So we made a monster hug card. Oh, it's a three eyed monster. <laughs> That's right. So we're going to show you how to do that. Okay, let's see. All I'm right. going to just put you on the full screen here so that way everybody can see what you're doing. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so what's the first? Oh, it's good, honey. Yeah. So what's the first thing we're going to do? We're going to the googly eyes on. That's right. So what did we do before we got ready? Cut the arms and body out. So we traced your hands and little arms. Yeah, there you go. We traced your hands and arms so that, and cut them out so that we were ready to go. And we did the monster body. So now you're going to decorate the monster body. We've got markers and you're gonna glue on some eyes, some googly eyes of different sizes. I'll get that out for you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so you glue on whatever eyes you'd like, do okay. some decorating, and I'll talk about what we're going to do with the arms. Okay. So for the arms to get that accordion fold, we're just going to score them. You can use your scoreboard, or if you don't have a scoreboard, you can use a ruler and a, not a knife, but a sharp utensil bone folder is what we're going to be using, and a ruler. And we did them at about uh, half an inch apart, and then we're going to fold them. So I'll get my scoreboard out all right so then we just plunked it on here i did the first one right at the wrist 
where the wrist is going to be so that that will fold in nicely. And then I did half an inch uh, each one from there all the way to the end. Da, 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 da. And to attach them, do you remember what we used to attach these guys? Um, do you remember what they're called? No. Brads. 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 So we're going to use brads to attach them onto the body. If you don't have brads in your stash, you don't have to. You, you can, can just, just use glue. You could just glue them on. Then they wouldn't articulate, but still super adorable. So once we've scored it, so I've got them all scored here at half an inch. And we're going to go backwards and forwards just to make that accordion and go all the way down. How are those eyes coming? Good. Good. It's a three eyed monster. Whoa. All right. Now you can decorate it. This card certainly wouldn't have to be for Father's Day, it could be for anything. It's pretty adorable. So I think it would work for any occasion. Now we're going to score the other hand. Same thing, I'll just start at the wrist and then do half an inch out all the way down from there. There his monster food. <laughs> that is a monster, my goodness. He's pretty cute though. Yeah. 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 All right, does he have any fur? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You have fur. What color should I do? Fox. Half fur. Oh, that's a pretty blue. It matches. I think that looks really nice. Okay, then we're going to do the same thing with this hand forward and back. Okay, so now our two hands are ready to go to attach to our card. You can decorate them if you would like. Uh, we are going to eventually decorate them before we give them out to Sean's grandpa. Which is Zeta. Zeta, yeah. We're going to get them ready for Zeta. There's his fur. Look at that guy. He's pretty cute. But his teeth are sharp. Ah. Sharp teeth? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. So, should we show how to attach these now? But aren't we going to decorate them? Do you want to decorate it a little bit? Sure you can. Yeah. Them. You can decorate those hands then a little bit. These hands are accordion. I think I know what I'm going to do. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. And then there's lots of room on the card if you wanted to write um, Love Sean. Love Sean. Or your we, name. Yep. We did Monster Hug uh, for a great Zeta. I think is what we did on our practice mm -hmm. one. Yeah, whatever. And then, of course, on the back. Yeah, somebody asked doing? somebody asked if they don't have one of their score tools or the board that you have, what's the other technique they can use? Or is it just oh get that lots real of good strong uh bond? No, just take a ruler. If you take a ruler and you just mark it at half an inch all the way down, and then you can take um you can use the ruler to fold it at that. I'm trying to see if I have a ruler sitting around here. I do not. You can use the ruler. Let's pretend this is my ruler. Mm -hmm. You can use the ruler to fold it up at that spot. So once you've got a little bit of a curve all the way around, then you're just gonna go forward and back like an accordion. Uh, you can also, if you do have a bone folder, which is one of these guys, you can use that and the ruler and the marks to make the line. And underneath, just put a foam book or some foam, something that's squishy huh? uh, so that Perfect. you can yeah, go through. Good, good, good idea. And these are accordion I made in the accordion arm. So this is how it works. Here's one handle, here's the other handle. Oh, and it's and like an accordion. <laughs> that's pretty cute. I like it, buddy. Thanks. All right, so let's attach these. So we're going to use brads, just little tiny brads. Can you see those? We're gonna poke them through and then they just butterfly out. Again, if you don't have brads, you can use just glue and just glue them on. So we'll line up the first one. Tell me when to stick it. All right, so you're gonna stick it right here. 
right now. Yep. So okay. we're going to do each layer separately. Can I give you a hand, buddy? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do each layer separately. We'll go through the card first. Then I will put my, then we'll go through this guy. Perfect. Then we'll butterfly that out. Butterfly. And then I like to just trim off. I trimmed some of the corners, the sides here, just like this. And I'll give you one with my tape. Okay, yeah, once we get it on, we'll do that after we get them on so that it's, you know, sort of like that. There's our first hand. Okay. All right, ready for the Bart, second one? Part of the accordion. <laughs> Pretty cute. Okay, so same thing. And of course, your monster can have as many arms as you want him to have. We only put two because we don't have that much room. Right. You could make it really big and put lots of arms, couldn't you? I think so. That would be pretty fun. Yep. There's no rules to monsters. No rules. No. Nope. Monsters look different. Every monster is unique. And I could have done four, five eyes. You could have put five eyes on there. But I decided to do three eyes. I think three looks lovely. I'm ready to do them. Ready to do. Okay, so now you're going to trim from the score line to the end. So just that little part there. This yeah. Perfect. And the other side. Well, careful not to cut mommy right there. Good job. Why would I ever cut my mommy? You wouldn't cut your mommy? Good. And there we have our Father's Day monster card. And you can write stuff. Oh, and it's... that's adorable. Very nice. I can it's... see a lot of those going out this Father's Day. <laughs> I, they're super quick, super fun, and you can make them however you want them to be. You can really, um, they can all be very unique. This one is very different than the one we did yesterday. And you just, whatever papers you have at home. Uh, there we go. There oh, you go. That's Good awesome, Sean. Sean. Love Great Sean. Great job. That's very great. good. And you can see oh. it doesn't take a lot of time oh, or no. you know, most of the things you would have around your own home. And that's, that's fabulous for the kids. It's unique. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And it's things that you probably, you don't have to go out and get anything more. It's probably stuff you already have at home. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. Awesome. Now, are you going to show us a little bit of your studio? We've been talking about studios and people's creative spaces and, you know, different ideas or so it's kind of a neat idea next year we, or next year. Next week, we have uh, Sandy McTeer on and she's going to be doing a studio reveal. She's been redoing her space. So you thought nice. you'd give us a little sneak peek into your store as well. So we can kind of see what you have there. Absolutely. So I'll give you uh, a little tour of um, our work. So this is our workspace. Welcome to it. I have a really big, long table in our studio area. Now, before COVID, this is where we did all of our classes and my studio was open to the store. But since we've had to make some changes because of social distancing and the number of people I can have in the store at any given time, I've had to sort of block it off. Okay. So I've been, I'll show you that when we go out front, but now we've got the store is definitely separate from the back area. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's a bit of a mess back here now because I'm not holding classes. I'm using it to put together our kids kits, right? Yeah. Um, my journal kits are back here. And then the videos that we're making, we're doing back here as well. Oh, perfect. So, perfect. Let me, just, let me grab. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to pin you again. So you're nice and big for everybody to see. There you go. Perfect. So this is our back area. We just got lots of storage back here. Hiding behind this big screen is where I do most of my videos where it's I'm just showing my hands. I've got that set up for there. And then we've got our inspiration wall. Wow, some more fun things over here. That's where I'm setting up all of the kids craft kits are getting put together over there. And then that's the big wall I've got. Now we'll walk out into the front. All right. Are you ready, buddy? Perfect. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, so then you come and here. Peppy and painting section. This wow. Is, this is Sean's favorite section. He loves all of the paints and the fun things we've got here. So we've got lots of good stuff there. And then over here are all of our fun surfaces. So we've got letters, which is another thing Sean loves to paint. 
Yeah, absolutely. And I painted my name. You did. And for Mother's Day, we painted or we put felt flowers on one for Sean's great grandmother. What is Odie? Odie, that's right. So this is the store. We've got our adhesives and papers. I'll show you my favorite part of the store. Uh, and I want to do this in my house. I plan to do it in my house as soon as I'm allowed, is my coffee table wall. So when I took over the store, yeah, we were deciding what fixtures I wanted to put in here. I wanted something unique. So I took coffee tables and cut them in half, painted everything white, and then put, so there's coffee tables, there's, there's a desk that I've got up a big table that and then some more coffee tables that is such a neat idea becky i love it yeah it's my favorite part and it's on a gorgeous brick wall i absolutely love it yeah then we've got our yarns over here and then i think sean wants to show you some of our kids crafts our kids kits okay so i just get you turned around here there yeah, we go. The signs of our what's in the kids kit. Right. So our kids kits, and we've got lots of fun stuff in them. Can I come show? So this one has there's a glitter canvas in there. There's buttons and paints and stickers and ribbon, um, shaped canvas, unicorns. Oh man, you got that one. So that's a lot of what we've been doing. This one's got a building. You can build a little house in there. There's paints. There's a felt plushy, oh, googly eyes, glitter canvas, all kinds of fun things. Mm -hmm. Thanks, bud. Uh, that's okay. And that's my store. That's awesome. That's incredible. So with those kits, um, can you can you mail them out? Like if somebody wants Absolutely. to get a kit. Yeah. So we've they're on our they're up on our website. Um, we do recommend that you just give us a call and let us know your price range. They range from $20 to $250. Um, give us some ideas of what the child you are sending it to likes. And then we'll handpick, Sean and I will handpick what we're going to put in it and send it out. So shipping across Canada is $15, um, just a flat rate. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. That is such a really neat shop. You just have a little bit of everything, Thank but you. it's just, you've, I'm sure everybody walks in and just uh, is amazed by all the creativity. And uh, so how did you come up with that idea with the, the tables and everything stacked I on was, top of each other? I was looking for different store layouts on Pinterest, one of my favorite places to be. Yeah. And I had seen some that had um like a full coffee table on the wall and some dressers and things and I was like no let's make this easier and I, I wanted it to be really streamlined um can you while you're talking like, can you go back and show yeah. that wall just uh I sure can some people might not have realized that it was so what is it's like a dresser so the bottom that. one here is yeah that's a dresser that we finished painted white then right above can you point to the dresser or the so that coffee table right there is, it was much larger and I cut it in half oh. and then stacked it. And then the yeah. next one is a little end table that I then again, cut in half and stacked it there. We've got one of those old school phone tables, you know, where you'd put your phone up top and the phone book and all that underneath. Oh, yes. So those ones I didn't cut in half because they were already quite slender. So I just took the back legs off, then painted it white measured it out to fit then in the middle I've got a big uh just a big dresser there underneath yeah and we put the slot wall then on the other side is you want to so the desk that's my favorite and here the push door so yeah so this it's such is such a just, feat it's such a feature of your shop there and your uniqueness but when it's all white like that it just looks yeah fabulous just fabulous Thank you. I love it. So yeah. yeah, then here's the other half of those two tables are here. I've got, this is just a big kitchen table oh. that does. So that one has one leaf in it. So I yeah. just made it to fit the size I needed for the space. 
Um, there's the other two coffee tables, a big desk, same thing. And then one more TV table. Oh, wow. That's great. <laughs> yeah, it, it is my favorite in this, in the store. I love it. Yeah. What creativity for you Thank to think you. about that. <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's what I love to do. Yeah, yeah. Find a problem. What am I going to put on this wall that looks good and then solve it with something gorgeous? Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. That's wonderful. Thank well, you. Thank you so much. Is there anything else you'd like to share? What are you going to do now, Sean? Um, you're going to go, I think, and work on your grandpa's deck. Which is Zeta's deck. Zeta's ah. deck. I'm going to get him now. Ah, uh, yes, yes. We have brought uh, my dad into our fold, into the family fold. And so Sean's been pretty excited that he gets to spend more time with Zeta. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, and how I uh, have like here in on, I'm in Ontario and now we have it that we can have like groups of 10 that we can uh, gather with uh, still social distancing. But if you stay in a certain group of 10, like family, you actually can we can get back to hugging and being a little closer. Yeah. Yeah, that so that's so we've picked our our little family network, and we're gonna we're sticking to that and same rules, following yeah. the rules. And now, yeah, my dad's in that. And he doesn't group. have to wear a mask. And he doesn't have to wear a mask when we go see Zeta, so that's pretty exciting. That's exciting. That's very exciting. <laughs> well, and I just wanted to say too, we so we enjoyed having you so much on the show on Friday. It was great. I had a wonderful time. That was so much fun. It was. It was a great time. And I think we've had such great response. We'll definitely do it again. So we uh, hope to have you on with us again, possibly, Perfect. I think, in this fall is when we're doing it again. So that sounds wonderful. Uh, we will be there. Okay, perfect, perfect. Well, thank you. I'll let you guys go because I know Sean's probably just waiting to get on with the next thing that he has to do. <laughs> Itching to do something. Yep. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, Becky, for joining thanks. us. Okay. Bye -bye. Take care. Yep. Bye bye. We'll see if we can. <laughs> there we go. Well, that was just way too much fun. Isn't that Sean? Just the most adorable little boy. I know I have a granddaughter that's six and a grandson four and two. And it's just wonderful to, uh, to do crafting with them. And, and I think it's their excitement. They're so excited. And, you know, it's just, just put it on there. I think sometimes as adults, our creativity is, is we, we're just not able to get out there and, and uh, we're afraid to try things new or just to kind of jump out of our little boxes. So I think we all need to take that child in us. And I think Wendy Russell spoke to us on that for those who were uh, watching the Pin It Live on Friday. Uh, she kind of was telling us about that, that you have to get back to your, your, your child creativity and, uh, and you know, just, just dabble into all different types of arts and crafts. Um, just a few things, uh, again, that uh, I wanted to mention next week, we have Sandy McTeer is on the show. Uh, she will be showing us her studio remodel reveal. So we're really excited about that. And also she'll be demonstrating the Decort Enchanted Paints. Now we did see a lot about those uh, on the Friday show and um, uh, Deco Art was on and showed us a little bit about some of their, their shimmery paints, uh, the new enchanted paints. So uh, Sandy will be showing us more on that. So that's, uh, we're looking forward to that and having her on the show. Um, and because we're talking about organizing and studio reveals, and I mean, just that neat wall that Becky had in her shop, I want to think I want to do that in my house because it just such a fabulous storage unit. Um, what are you doing? Do you, have you done something recently? And I know I think I've asked this before and nobody's gotten back to me. So I want to hear from you. Send me pictures, send me messages. Uh, I know there's all sorts of people. Hello, Alan. Hi, Joy and Judy and Liz and Craig from the UK. Hi, Craig and Marg and Debbie and Marsha and Cheryl and Renee, Kathy, Pat, like we've got all sorts of people here watching. All of you, Diane, Debbie, another Joyce, uh, Sue Potts from Oakville. Hi, Sue. Liz from Mississauga. Lynn, Bella from Oakville. Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. I believe you're from London. You were one of the winners. And so was Bella. They both won door prizes on the Pin It Live event last week. So um, anyway, what have you done 
to organize your creative space. Give us some ideas. I mean, share them with us. We want to know what you've been doing or maybe a problem that you're having. You know, just like I've got all these paints, which I do, and I don't know how to organize them. You know, how should I do it? Or I have this scrapbooking paper and it's just everywhere. What can I do? So, oh, Alan from Winnipeg. Yes, of course, Alan. Um, and send us your ideas. Send us your pictures. Send us your comments so that we can discuss this on next week's show because Sandy's going to be here. And she's gone through the process and perhaps she can answer some questions uh, to help you with your space as well. Uh, also, I wanted, because we were kind of talking about crafting with kids, I follow a little bit, it's, it's uh, YouTube videos, you know, you get on these things and it's called the Holderness Family. Uh, I don't know whether any of you have um, seen it before, but it's just, it's really funny. Uh, but they have one out and it's sponsored by HP, but it's about crafting and creative. Uh, so I just thought I'd share that with you quick a minute. And so you can see what they're up to as well. So this is really neat and some great ideas. Thanks HP for sponsoring this video. I know my plans for the summer, but what are we gonna do with the kids? <sighs> School's done. What are we supposed to do now? Go see a baseball game? Canceled. Go see a movie? Closed. Can't. Canceled. Pool? Open. Uh, we can make a reservation. In July. Mm. We can just hang with you guys. Um, uh, can you just give us a sec? Yeah, we just be right, right back. Okay, this is gonna be a tough mission. We have to keep the kids busy so we can work. Okay, here's the plan. We relocate the children to the living room and we turn on the television. We're not sitting them in front of a TV all day. Give me that. Ever hear of an escape room? Oh yeah. Okay, 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 ready? Okay, we, so we take the kids and we lock them in a room for three hours. And? Escape room. That's not how escape rooms work. You mean the chart. Okay, like, I got it, I got it. We, we construct fake parents. I'm sure that design will be perfect. Out of brooms, pipes, Weird masks and jack-o'-lanterns, okay? We put them downstairs with the kids, they engage them, they entertain them. Oh, no, 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 what the heck is this? Um, no, please, no. And they can clean the floors with them. Ah. Okay, 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 we take them outside, and we give them a hose. Look, buddy, it's a hose. I used to play with a hose, isn't it great? You have a better idea. I've got it. We have tons to do, so they need tons to do. HP has this great site with all these free printables. It's called Print, Play, and Learn. Soap carving. Woo! You're like legit excited about it. I'm so excited. Okay, those like soap cutting videos on Instagram and YouTube, they're so satisfying. I used a blank piece of paper and I traced out the drawing. You trace it with a pen on the soap. You etch in the little more detailed parts of it. I'm very proud. You very proud? Now I can wash my hands with it. <laughs> I made this tricky thaumatrope thingy. It's a spinning toy. I cut out these circles and tape them together on this straw. Slowly. And now I slowly spin it. it. Still looks really hyper. Yep. These printables are absolutely free and you can sort them out by age and activity. Kim, what are you doing? I'm coloring. the. Remember all the work we have to do? Yeah, but it's an art therapy printable. It's free. Okay, so you're just gonna, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna, yep. we're just gonna. You do you. Thanks, HP. Hey, we can just hand them to give it to the kids. <laughs> what do you want for lunch, kids? You want me to, you want to figure it out? <laughs> now, I think that I love the humor, but uh, just some great ideas, something else that you can do. Uh, and obviously there's printables for kids, there's printables for adults. So it's just another idea of um, things that you can do this summer uh, with the kids, the grandkids and yourself to learn something new. Coloring is so relaxing. I can just color all day long. Uh, so anyway, just wanted to um, remind you about Sand McTeer next week. And uh, we've got some great, let me just get my other paper here. Oh, 
over the next couple of weeks, we've got some really great uh, people on the show. Wrong book, Audrey. <laughs> Here we go. Forgot to bring the book over. So yeah, next week is Sandy. Um, the week after that, we have Soraya Hammings Wilmsey. And she's actually from the Netherlands. And she will be on the show. She does mixed media. And she will be um, showing some of her artwork. So I'm really excited because that's my background, of course, Holland and the Netherlands. So she'll be on the show on July 2nd. Uh, July 9th, we have Wendy Russell will be with us. Uh, she was our keynote speaker on Friday and uh, just a wonderful person. So she's going to be with us on uh, July 9th. So, so just looking forward to a lot of the things that we have coming up. And just a quick update on the Art West Show, which is all our Alberta actual event uh, in September 16th to the 20th. Uh, we are about 90% sure is going to happen. Uh, I had discussions yesterday with the college and with the uh, hotel and they are kind of at a stage already uh, that they're preparing for smaller groups like ourselves uh, to come in. So we are very excited. We had great meetings yesterday and it looks like we're rolling in the right direction. So um, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, kind of confirm that. I mean, it's not 100% confirmed. Things can happen, right? Right now, we never know sometimes from day to day. But today, at this particular moment, um, we're, we're pretty well set to go for the Alberta show. So we just wanted to share that with a lot of you out there. So and I look to book my tickets yesterday and West Jets opened up flights. And uh, so, you know, there's flights direct for me from London right to Calgary. So which is exciting. Um, other than that, I think we've had a fabulous show. It's been so nice to have Jen Tryon and her COVID journal. So keep uh, being inspired and journaling every day. And, you know, whether it's for COVID or just on your everyday, uh, being creative in a journal is a great way to use all different types of of, uh, of your supplies that you have at home. So, and uh, oh, also don't forget to uh, share, like, comment, um, and also to go to our YouTube page, Pin It Canada, uh, to see more of the videos, uh, all the past Audrey lives and the uh, Pin It Canada live. So, uh, we look forward to many more uh, Audrey lives to come and thank you so much for watching today and have a great day. Have a great weekend um, and bye-bye. So long.